Plasmatic is quite an isolated community. In the past, I've been homeless. Not everybody's got a transport that they can access. Everybody is struggling. We set up the group, got it called We Are Plasmatic. We're here to help the people on the estate and around. Health and well-being, combat loneliness, just something for the children. The people love it. We help them and they help us. A lot of people that come here sometimes suffer with mental health issues. There's always somebody here to listen. It's a great benefit coming here. Originally, after lockdown, the girls came in to do a coffee morning. When we heard that they were having an opportunity to get these cars, they said, were we interested? And we just said, amazing, that would be brilliant. The money from the National Lottery makes it easier for us to help people and it gives them hope. Plasmatic is quite an isolated community in terms of like transport links, so having some vehicles like this, it just opens up the world to people who may not get those experiences. It's not a taxi, it's definitely not a taxi. They, they know me, I know them, they'll always interact. And they're from the community, I feel very, very safe when I'm with them. I just want to help people out and help my community out. Get paid in smiles, so I'm going to stick on. With having a disabled child, for me, buses and taxis are quite hard to get hold of, and spaces on buses as well get always busy, so then sometimes you can't get on a bus. So bucking it through the electric cars, I know that I've got my transport sorted. For the first time in three years, I have been able to meet my daughter and granddaughter for a carol service in my own place of worship. Without this facility, and I get emotional because it was an amazing day. And without these guys, without this van, that has not ever been possible. The only way I've got to know people coming is here. coming here. I come here as a as a resident first. And Don Harry runs. Uh, we are plasmatic. Um, said you can cook, won't you? Yeah. Put me through a uh, health and hygiene. I got that and they said, well, you can cook then. And they've, they've <laughs> nominated me as their cook. In the past, I've been on the receiving end of going to food banks, soup kitchens, I've been homeless, and all that sort of stuff. So I know what it's like um, to be. to be in that sort of situation. Without the lottery, things like this would never happen. It's just brought us all together. Yeah.